writers, your folders are now full of poems. And you may have many poems that you haven't read in a long time. Poets do this. They let their writing sit for a while, and then they come back to it later. Today, I want to show you that when poets revise, they look at a poem with brand new eyes asking, how can I make this work even better? One way to do this is to look for opportunities to show, not tell. I can hear you thinking, what, show, not tell? We already know about that. You're right. You already know what show, not tell means because it is something you did when you were writing small moments. But poets in particular are masters at showing, not telling. That's the entire purpose of poetry. A poem won't say, it began raining. Instead, it would say, plop, fell the first drop, umbrellas unfurled like daisies. And a poem won't say, the cat was angry. It will probably say, hiss, scratch, spit, bottle brush tail, run for your life. The best poems show us actual pictures that let us almost see and feel what is happening. Today I want to start by reading one of my poems. Think about whether there might be a part of the poem where I tell instead of show. Then maybe we could fix up those parts. Behind my desk. My students give me pictures to hang behind my desk. When I look at them, I feel so happy. I see a crayon cat curled on a chair sleeping in yellow sun. I see a red butterfly and big planes flying. These pictures make me glad. This poem is about your artwork. I can almost see the cat and the sun and the butterfly and the airplanes. But I'm thinking there are parts of the poem where I'm telling, not showing. Let's see. This fourth line, I feel so happy. That's true. I do feel happy when I look at your artwork. But I'm just telling the reader this. I'm not showing the reader my happiness. Watch as I take this line, I feel so happy, and try to paint a picture that really shows my happiness. Hmm. What does it look like when I feel happy? What would someone see if they saw me becoming happy? Yes, a serious face becoming a grin shows a picture of a changing mood. An artist could draw that. I'm going to change this line in the poem. My serious face becomes a grin. I really like that a whole lot better. Now let's look at the last line of this poem. These pictures make me glad. Again, it is true. But do you think I'm just telling this? What could you do? How could you revise this to show this feeling in my poem? When you get to work today, I know you'll be revising poems. One way you might revise will be to reread your poem to see if you can find a line where you told instead of showed. Paint a picture in your mind of what an artist might draw to show that line of the poem, and then go ahead and write a new line. Have a great day, writers.